It's time to get your safety gear, folks, because we are diving headfirst into the rumor mill today. Apparently, the fantastic forecast has been leaked. And not only that, we have some exciting updates on the Mad Max spin-off, Furiosa, and Jackie Chan's potential return to the Karate Kid franchise. But there is one bit of interesting news that you'll really want to hear, and it has to do with Tom Cruise being absolutely furious with Oppenheimer and Barbie? Why, you ask? Well, let's dive right into it. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, the eagerly anticipated installment in the Mission Impossible franchise, has finally wrapped up its production process, following a long and challenging journey. This first half of the franchise's two-part finale brings back the iconic character, Ethan Hunt, played by Tom Cruise, who faces his most perilous mission yet, joined by familiar allies and formidable new adversaries. The star-studded cast includes Haley Atwell, Ving Rhames, Simon Pegg, Rebecca Ferguson, Asai Morales, Vanessa Kirby, Palm Clementine, and Henry Cerny. Scheduled to hit US theaters on July 12, 2023, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 promises an exhilarating cinematic experience, packed with intense action and thrilling plot twists. Meanwhile, Tom Cruise has reportedly been urging rival studio executives and exhibitors to prioritize screenings of his film over Christopher Nolan's upcoming release, Oppenheimer. With Oppenheimer hitting theaters just 10 days after Mission Impossible 7, Cruise is concerned about the potential impact on his movie's performance. Cruise has sought to secure extended access to IMAX screens for his action-packed film, knowing that the visuals and increased box office revenue could make a significant difference. Whether he actually gets that remains to be seen. Last year, it was an exciting announcement that Bad Bunny, the Grammy-winning Puerto Rican rapper, would be starring in Sony Pictures' Spider-Man spin-off film, El Muerto. However, updates on the movie have been scarce. Recently, Bad Bunny and his publicist shed some light on the current status of the project. During a Time Magazine cover story about Bad Bunny, the rapper was asked about El Muerto, Playfully, he expressed confusion and confirmed that filming for the movie has not yet taken place. Later, his publicist informed Time that El Muerto is still in the development stage, but has hit a temporary pause. When approached for comment, a Sony representative chose not to respond. In good humor, Bad Bunny even joked that maybe they'll replace him with Pedro Pascal. The movie was scheduled for release on January 12, 2024, but that's looking increasingly unlikely. Furiosa's popularity in Mad Max Fury Road sparked speculation about a potential spin-off film centered around her character, and now it seems George Miller is here to grant our wishes. He has been developing a prequel story focusing on the war captain for a few years now, and the film titled Furiosa is set to be released on Friday, May 24th, 2024. Interestingly, Charlize Theron will not reprise her role in the prequel. Instead, Rising star Anya Taylor-Joy has been cast as the titular Imperator, Furiosa. This decision drew some criticism, but Miller explained that since the film is a prequel, he wanted to portray a younger version of the character and opted against using de-aging technology. Joining Taylor-Joy on this thrilling adventure are two returning actors from Fury Road. Nathan Jones will once again portray Rictus Erectus in Morton Joe's son, while Angus Sampson reprises his role as the organic mechanic. Additionally, the cast will feature some new faces. Marvel superstar Chris Hemsworth is set to appear, rumored to play the film's villain, a young Immortan Joe. Tom Burke, known for his work in the indie drama The Souvenir, will also join the cast. Thanks to an official plot synopsis, we know that Furiosa will delve into the backstory of a young Furiosa who was abducted from the green place of many mothers by the biker horde led by the warlord Dementis. The film will explore her journey to survive amidst the ongoing war between Dementis and Immortan Joe as she seeks to find her way back home. In what was a very exciting development, director Chad Stileski shed light on Keanu Reeves' role as John Wick in the upcoming spin-off film, Ballerina. Set between the events of the third and fourth John Wick movies, Ballerina follows a new character portrayed by Anna de Armas, who undergoes training under the same mentorship that John Wick received years ago. Although Ballerina primarily focuses on de Armas' character, the legendary assassin will still make an appearance in the spin-off. During an exclusive interview with Screen Rant, Stileski tantalized fans by hinting at John Wick's role in Ballerina. 
He revealed that since the spin-off is set prior to John Wick Chapter 4, Reeves' character and the audience will share an almost inside joke, given their knowledge of John Wick's future. Until now, the John Wick films have presented the story predominantly from his perspective, delving into his world and experiences. However, Ballerina will be the first installment to offer a fresh viewpoint entirely from a different character's perspective. This shift allows for a new interpretation of John Wick, as seen through DeArmas' character's eyes. The movie currently slated to hit theaters on June 7, 2024. The Karate Kid franchise is expanding its universe by combining the 80s classic with the 2010 revival, aiming to create its own multiverse. The 2010 film, starring Jaden Smith and directed by Harald Zwart, presented a fresh take on the original story set in a different location and featuring a new mentor portrayed by martial arts legend Jackie Chan. Last year, Sony Pictures announced their plans to revive the original saga with a new film, potentially bringing back Ralph Macchio, who played a vital role in the franchise's revival through Cobra Kai. However, it appears that this project will be even more ambitious than fans anticipated. Discussing film reports that Jackie Chan is currently in talks with the studio to reprise his role as Mr. Han, which will somehow connect both legacies. This movie also has a tentative release date of June 7, 2024. Exciting times lie ahead in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, with a plethora of upcoming movies and TV shows. One project that has generated significant anticipation is Marvel's Blade movie. While details are still emerging, there are some intriguing updates to share. Maya Goth, known for her role in Emma and other notable films, is set to join the Blade cast alongside the already confirmed lead, Mahershala Ali. The specific character Goth will portray has not been revealed yet, but possibilities include Lilith Drake, Dracula's daughter, or Rachel Van Helsing, a formidable monster hunter. In terms of the film's production, there have been some changes behind the scenes. Nick Pizzolatto, the creator of True Detective, has been brought on board to work on the screenplay, joining forces with Michael Starbury, who had previously worked on the script. This collaboration reunites Pizzolatto and Ali, who previously collaborated on the third season of True Detective. The release date is currently slated to be September 6, 2024, but it is likely that it will be pushed back due to the WGA strike. While this delay may be frustrating, it does provide Pizzolatto with additional time to refine and enhance the script. Excitement is building among DC fans as Joker 2, the highly anticipated sequel to the 2019 hit film Joker, is currently in production and slated for release on October 4th, 2024. A recently released video has sent fans into a frenzy, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the world of Joker and its potential connection to Batman. The original Joker film captivated audiences with its gripping psychological thriller storyline, chronicling the transformation of Arthur Fleck, a failed clown and comedian, into the iconic supervillain Joker. The movie delved into Fleck's descent into madness and his profound impact on the marginalized inhabitants of Gotham City, a dark and unequal metropolis. The highly anticipated sequel, officially titled Joker Fully Ado, sees Phoenix reprising his role as Arthur Fleck with Todd Phillips returning to direct and co-write alongside Scott Silver. Adding to the excitement is the inclusion of Lady Gaga in the DC Universe. Lady Gaga is set to portray the iconic Batman villain, Harley Quinn, in Joker 2. Fans have already been treated to an official first look at her in action, including behind-the-scenes photos showcasing her in the complete Harley Quinn costume. And let me tell you right now, she looks right at home. Marvel Studios is finally bringing the beloved superhero team, the Fantastic Four, to the big screen with a scheduled release date of February 14, 2025. While Marvel has yet to officially announce the cast, there have been rumors circulating about the potential actors involved. According to The Grapevine, Margot Robbie is rumored to portray Sue Storm, also known as the Invisible Woman. Robbie is no stranger to the superhero genre, having portrayed Harley Quinn in three DC films. Joining her might be Adam Driver, rumored to play Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic. Driver, known for his role as Kylo Ren in Disney's Star Wars, would be making a noteworthy jump to the Marvel Universe. Another rumored cast member is Paul Meskel, best known for his work in the British series Normal People and films like The Lost Daughter and After Sun. Meskel is said to be in the running for the role of Johnny Storm or the Human Torch. 
Lastly, David Dix, known for his role in Hamilton and as the voice of Sebastian the Crab in The New Little Mermaid, is rumored to portray Benjamin Grimm, also known as The Thing. I gotta ask though, who are they going to cast for Doctor Doom? In a recent interview with Variety, James Gunn shared his vision for the new Man of Steel in the upcoming film, Superman Legacy. He emphasized the importance of finding an actor who embodies both the humanity and alien nature of Superman. Someone who possesses the kindness, compassion, and huggable quality that makes the character so beloved. Gunn expressed his excitement about the potential candidates, stating that they have some excellent choices in mind. One actor who is rumored to be in the running is Pearson Fode, known for his role in The Bold and the Beautiful. Sources suggest that the 31-year-old actor submitted a self-tape audition, featuring a montage that highlighted his Clark Kent-like upbringing on a farm in Moses Lake, Washington. According to reports, Gunn was impressed by Fode's submission. It's worth noting that Fode already has some experience in the superhero realm, having appeared in an episode of Supergirl in 2020. While nothing has been officially confirmed, fans will have their eyes peeled for any updates regarding Fode's potential involvement. Superman Legacy is scheduled for release on July 11th, 2025. Exciting news for Hellboy fans! The newest reboot of the popular anti-hero, titled The Crooked Man, has wrapped up production, as confirmed by creator Mike Mignola on Instagram. Mignola took the opportunity to congratulate the cast and crew for their work on the film, and also praised co-writer Chris Golden for his dedication to capturing the heart and soul of the source material. According to Mignola, The Crooked Man is one of his favorite Hellboy stories. The previous film in 2019 featured David Harbour in the titular role. Directed by Brian Taylor, known for his work on Crank, and with a screenplay by Mike Mignola and Chris Golden, The Crooked Man stars Jack Kessie, Jefferson White, and Adeline Rudolph. The story is based on the Eisner Award-winning comic book of the same name, which was released in conjunction with Guillermo del Toro's Hellboy 2 The Golden Army in 2008. Set in 1950s rural Appalachia, the film follows Hellboy and a rookie BPRD agent as they encounter a community haunted by witches, led by a local devil with a dark connection to Hellboy's past, the Crooked Man. While an exact release date is yet to be confirmed, fans can expect the new Hellboy iteration to arrive around the holiday season in 2023 or possibly in 2024. Stay tuned for further updates on this thrilling reboot. A Quiet Place has become a gripping and beloved horror franchise, captivating audiences with its unique premise. The sequel, A Quiet Place 2, was a standout horror film in 2021, surpassing $100 million at the US box office, a remarkable achievement considering the pandemic. It's no wonder that fans are eagerly anticipating the next installment, A Quiet Place 3. In this post-apocalyptic world, Terrifying alien predators, reminiscent of the Demogorgon from Stranger Things, hunt down humans using sound. To survive, the characters must live in complete silence, creating a tense and thrilling atmosphere that has lent itself well to a trilogy of monster movies. Returning cast members include Emily Blunt as Evelyn Abbott, Melissa Simons as Reagan, and Noah Jupe as Marcus. Additionally, Cillian Murphy's character, Emmett, who formed a strong bond with Reagan in A Quiet Place 2, is likely to join them in the third installment. While an exact release date for A Quiet Place 3 is yet to be confirmed, we can expect it to arrive in 2025. John Krasinski, the creator of the franchise, will not be directing the third film, but will still have a significant creative role. During his recent appearance at the Dell Tech World Conference, acclaimed filmmaker James Cameron revealed that he is currently writing a new installment in the Terminator franchise. However, interestingly enough, he wanted to observe how recent advancements in artificial intelligence unfold before finalizing the script. Despite facing criticism and disappointing box office results in recent years, the Terminator series, much like Star Wars and Indiana Jones, has managed to maintain a prominent position in the minds of American moviegoers. In an attempt to capitalize on nostalgia and familiar storytelling, the franchise has relied on the presence of aging stars and the established universe. However, unlike some other franchises, Terminator has taken a different approach with each sequel, resulting in convoluted timelines and lackluster plots that have left fans of the original two films feeling dissatisfied. In contrast, Arnold Schwarzenegger, 
who has been an integral part of the Terminator series, has expressed that he is done with the franchise. While he believes that there is potential for a successful future, Schwarzenegger has made it clear that he will not be involved. He believes that the franchise should explore fresh ideas and that someone needs to come up with a compelling concept. So, which movie are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest updates.